Hello and welcome to another episode of Google Sheets Learning Tutorial with Sayed. In this episode, we will see how to do a VLOOKUP in Google Sheets. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. There are two sheets on this workbook. See it is where I will demonstrate and do it is for you to practice. Let me go into the see it sheet. Here, I would like to extract the full name and staff type of these employee IDs from this data set. I can do that using a VLOOKUP very quickly. But before I start, let me explain the syntax of VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP requires four arguments. The first one is a search key. What are we looking for? In this case, I'm looking for an employee ID. The second argument is the range. Range is the data where is we look up trying to look for this data. So in this case, we have this data set. This is where the VLOOKUP is trying to look for the data. The third argument is index. Index is what should we look up return upon successful match if the employee ID is found. So in this case, I want the VLOOKUP to return me the full name. In this case, the full name is sitting in the fourth column from the lookup column. My lookup column is employee ID because I'm trying to match the employee ID. Once the employee ID is found in my lookup column, that is column A, from there, I need my full name. So it is going to be the fourth column starting from column A. Column A is one, column B is two, column C is three, and column D is four. So I am going to enter four in my situation to extract the full name. Now, in the fourth argument, I need to let VLOOKUP know whether this is going to be an exact match or an approximate match. In most cases, it is exact match. So for that, I will either enter false or zero. So this is how my VLOOKUP syntax is going to be. Let us give it a shot. Let us start in the cell K to here, VLOOKUP. What am I looking for? I am looking for this ID. Where am I looking for that? I am looking in this range. Great. Now, upon successful match, what should we look up return? Starting from my lookup column, that is employee ID, my full name is sitting on the fourth column. So I will enter number four, comma, I want an exact match. I can enter either false or zero. I will enter number zero, close the bracket. Now, before I press enter, look at my cell. The Google Sheet is giving me a tooltip, indicating me what will be my result when I press enter. This is very handy and very useful. So I am going to press enter now. There we go. We look up extracted me a full name for that employee ID. Google Sheet is asking me whether I am okay to autofill the rest of the values with the same formula. I will accept that suggestion. Now I have all my full names extracted for me. Let us give it a try one more time. This time we are not going to select the entire column, but just that specific range. So I am going to start with VLOOKUP. I'm looking up for this value. Where am I looking? I am looking in this range. So I will just select that particular range. Now, before I press comma, I would like to lock this range. If you are working on a MacBook, you need to press Fn F4 to lock that range. And if you are on a Windows computer, just press F4 and it will lock that range so that it does not move down when you drag your selection comma. The index value for staff type is in column G. So it is going to be number seven, comma, zero, close the bracket. Before I press enter, you can see the Google Sheet is giving me a tooltip indicating me what would be my result when I press enter. I will accept the autofill here. There we go. We have extracted the full name and staff type using VLOOKUP in Google Sheets. I request you to practice. Go into the do it sheet and practice. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will see how to do a VLOOKUP in Google Sheets and extract values from a different sheet. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you so much. Have a very lovely day. See you soon.